Hello everyone. Time for me to wade in with the coronavirus fitness spiel. Um, we're going to bring some uh, really good free material. This video will probably appear in that free material, so it might be sort of serve cross purposes. But it'll be a little basic guide about how to stay fit and healthy during this whole coronavirus thing and beyond, because this has always been our main message: is stay healthy, uh, keep active choose healthy lifestyle options. Um, we've been getting requests about workouts, um, so I thought what I'd do is just something very simple, a one band workout, uh, no equipment except for the one band. If you get a pack of two bands, you can use two bands. Uh, for this workout, I'm gonna use this band. It's only thin, you can see by the size of it. And if you're gonna get a single band or this kind of band, make sure you get a, a you know a good quality band because for some of these exercises you might be able to double up and make it make it a lot tougher. Uh, for most of these, I'm going to show you in a single. You can also get a thicker band if you want to get a set of bands. That means you can go straight to some of the tougher exercises without basically doubling up. And you can also get you know a pack of bands, so you get two bands. Anything that you see me doing in a single arm version, you'd probably be able to do with two arms as well. So this is the idea of this is to show you basically. If you wanted to do some bodybuilding style training and you don't have any equipment, if you wanted to get some time under tension, some muscle work, then I'm going to give you a basically uh, what would really, nearly be a four day split. Actually, I've missed out some biceps and triceps, which I'll just throw in at the end as well. Okay, so first we're going to go for chest press. Okay, so now I would prep, personally, I would use this band for this exercise, but I'm going to demonstrate with this one. Okay, so through the hands, over the back, down to the floor, keep everything tight, reps, squeeze, one, two, three, one, two, four, keep your tension, it's all about the time under tension, this band isn't strong enough for me to do this, I would normally do with this, it gives a lot more resistance, so when you're fully stretched on the top of the movement, you really feel the band trying to push you in, but as well as doing this on a flat, you can also get your different angles as well. So if you have a bench, you get your resistance. You can also do, this would be a decline, even though your body's on an incline, it would be a decline. Press. And obviously the same thing. You go to the floor, make sure this doesn't whip me on the neck. This would now be an incline. Same thing. It's an incline press. Okay. There's three exercises straight away. If you do normal sets and reps, you're doing three full sets of eight to twelve repetitions, maybe higher, depending on your bounds. And the next one would be a fly. This is going to substitute for a door handle or some, something you can attach a band to. What are you going to do? Throw it around. Make sure it's secure or solid, because these things do sting if they go wrong. So this is the fly, you've got different angles. You can go right through the middle just by stooping down, squeeze in the middle, and you can see I put my hand on the chest, how much my hand is moving. This actually really does, does work. And the good thing about singles is you get the core involved as well. So that's a, uh, a fly. You can also then go to a, a low fly as well. You can do a decline from that position, and not as good tear a little bit, you can also do an incline, fly, oh, feel it, it's good, works. So if it's for the big movements like the presses, I would probably use a thick band. For the isolation stuff, I'd probably use a single thin band. Next one is a scoop. So this one, go nice and wide with the feet. Oh, I couldn't get my feet in. Okay, palms up, grab for this position. And at the same time, what you're going to try and do is you're going to try and lift your arms up, but you're also trying to squeeze in bands. You're not just going to go vertically, you're squeezing the band this way. So nice and wide, start low, up, squeeze, one, squeeze, two, squeeze, three. Okay, so that would be a chest workout. Three, four sets of these, maybe some of your angles. So you've got well, maybe six sets, nine sets. 12 sets, you can add an extra few sets on there. Maybe do some drop sets on the push ups without any, any band. So that would be one day. It would take you, you know, half an hour maybe. 
legs. We'll go again. I'll probably use a thicker band for this one. This is a split squat. Lots of variations from this. Do it with shoes. Make sure you you can wedge the band in the uh, the arch of the foot. Going across the body from there. Wide shoulder width. Stay up nice and tall. Got resistance forcing you down. One, two, drive. One, two, drive. You can also do this. There's a rear foot elevated version as well on a box or a step. Exactly the same thing. Again, I would probably do this with a thicker band. You might be able to double this up, but I don't fancy my chances of getting into it. I think I'll have to shrink a little bit. Okay, that's a split squat. Also, using the door handle again, you've got a resistant lunge. So you take the band. Oh, I've given myself a challenge. Okay, you step in. So now the band is forcing me forward. So you want to get an aggressive step down into the movement so you can force yourself back. You need to do it in singles. One, two, three. Or if you want, you can alternate. I prefer to do singles because you get the, the constant tension. Remember, we're trying to get tension through the legs. Okay, so that's a resisted lunge. So there's two more quad based exercises, quads for the glutes in there, obviously, as well. Next one is a deadlift. This is a split footed or split stance deadlift. Probably need a bit of tension in the band for this one. This is the leg that's going to work. And basically, imagine this leg isn't here. What if you do a, a barbell split and a sit, stiff leg deadlift? I'm taking this leg as just support now. This goes underneath the foot. Good solid grip, keep the chest up. You can already feel the stretch. And then drive up. One, three, two, one. Backside comes out. Five, power on the way back up. Three, two, one. And power, three, two, one. Okay, bit of a technical one that one, but you can feel it. Next one, single leg deadlift. For this one, I'm gonna use this very heavy marble pillar. You could easily use a uh, stick it around the leg of a table or a, a bed or something like that, something heavy, because you're only gonna get a bit of tension. Again, I would use a thicker band for this one. Okay, single leg deadlift, so, if this hand is pulling, this leg is going to go out of the way. So you get a bit of tension on there, this leg kicks back, and you drive off one. I'm going to try and stay on the leg as long as I can. Two if you need to, just touch down. Three, two, one. And again, stiff leg, stiff single leg deadlift. Okay, so that would be a leg workout. It's quite tough. If you want to add some extra stuff at the end, some jumping movements or the beginning, then again, another option. But again, it would be, I think, a good workout. Next one, we move on to back. So I'm going to show you a couple of different variations from this one. We did a low row. Go back to our door handle. Again, probably I would use a thicker band. Take a knee, single arm work. Lock in the shoulder back. Squeeze at the back. One, two, three. Making sure you're not overextending. Let's get the shoulder working. There's your low row. Right, now, I'm going to show you the preferred way of doing the next two exercises, and then I'll show you if you don't have this piece of kit, because I said it would be no kit, other than a band. I've got one of these, I'll show you this one. Basically, it's this bit goes in over your door frame, and you can stick through things through there. This is, blocks the door. Okay, so I'm going to set this up in advance. We'll loop the band through. To give myself a bit of resistance. Don't know what I'm doing here. There we go. Okay, now I go over to the door frame. Okay. So that's solid and secure. Okay, and then from this position, from there, you've got a high row, a high pull. If it's too easy, get yourself a bit closer, you can wrap it up a little bit more. Or again, you can use a heavier band. This is quite light, to be honest. A heavier band would be needed. That's a variation. Um, what else have we got? Okay, so that's a stiff. Okay, so your stiff pull down as well. This is a usually a two arm movement. Two arms you normally do this with a barbell or a cable stack, like this. But this is quite easy to band, so I'm going to do a single. I get it quite high. Lock the shoulder back. Pull. One, yeah, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, five, three, two, one. That's it.
There's two variations. Notice it's only given a tempo because we're looking at working on tempos with the band. The band is constantly trying to pull you back, so you want explosive movements with the, with the effort is, and then on the length of the phase, controlled. Okay, so let's say you haven't got this piece of kit. There it's gone. We go back to the door handle, back into the position. This is where it gets a bit weird. You go back into the, onto the floor, and you pretend you're standing, you do the same thing, you just got the position. So this would be the stiff arm pull down. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Okay, now the same thing, but be a bit more distance. If you're going for that single row from the stretch, squeeze. Can I let that go? Yeah, I think I'm good. Right, there's back, shoulders. This kind of band is you know, it's probably going to be enough. You don't need to use the heavier band than this one. Again, I'm going to go singles. Underneath the foot, you adjust the resistance. So if you want to make things tougher, you step lower. Or halfway down the band. The band is going to make it much tougher. And I'll keep it easy on myself, as I've already worked out today. Underneath the foot, round the back. And this, oh, nice t-shirt. From the back, from there, just going to overhead press. Just drive up. You can also do bed presses, as I usually do, because I've got a shoulder issue. So all my presses end up being bed presses. That's why I don't press overhead too much. But it's still a good exercise. Two, one, press. Three, two, one. Again, if you have two bands, you do one, one, and you press them both at the same time. Lateral raise across the body, either through. But this would be too light, I think, so I'm going to give it a bit more resistance. I'm going to step on it. This is why I say wear shoes, because we've got the rubber, rubber on rubber with good, good friction. Nice wide stance. Maybe a bit more tension. Lateral raise. One, two, three. Two, three, two, one. Again, three, two, one. It's good, it works, you can feel it. Same thing exactly would be an upright row. No, I'm just changing to save my arm. Okay, I probably get a lot more tension on this one. For this one I'm going to hold both sides because it's going to be a little bit tougher. Shoulder back, I'm going to drive. Three, two, one. Two, three, two, one. And drive. Three, two, one. I don't know he's called on the end. It's a friend. Okay, back. Okay. Right, next one. Do the upright row. Reverse fly, and go back to the door. This is an extra bonus. This is just an exercise I regularly do anyway. You've got a normal fly in motion or reverse fly to the back of the shoulders. But with the band, you get this cross position. We also get to pull the band across the middle. So it's like you form this triangle. So for this position, squeeze. One, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. And you try to bend that band across the shoulders. There's your reverse fly, so that's four shoulder exercises. What I didn't mention was obviously biceps. Biceps, probably the easiest thing to do. Stand on it and curl. There you go. Simple bicep exercise. You can also, if you want, go back, do your trusty door handle, which hopefully isn't floating off by now. Floating off the door handle, so that's fine. You can also do a, like a variation of a pitcher curl. You can put your arm underneath. You can do it without changing your angles. Then you go to triceps. In this position, you've got your uh, push down from there. Simple. Or if you want from this position, your overhead extension. So there we go. That's it. There's your, what do you want be? Five pound, 60 dirham gym. That's all you need. So get a good sweat. I'm sweating already. That's because the AC isn't.